Hello everyone, Amud here from your target common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation to Karate Framework Playlist. So currently we are learning to create JSON payload in different ways using Karate Framework. In this video we will focus on creating nested complex JSON in Karate Framework using set multiple and this will be a best way to create JSON payload in Karate Framework. So let's start with the very simple JSON object. In this JSON object, we have some keys and we have some associated values. Let's go to Karate project, which we have created in IntelliJ. Let me give the, so we have one keyword called set, use star set. And here you need to give the variable name in which you want to store the JSON payload. So I will give JSON object payload. After this, we need to pass a table. So the first column will be path. This is fixed. You need to give path only. And then we have another column name value. So in the path, we need to pass the JSON path and in the value will be the value of that key. So suppose if I want to create this type of JSON object, then the key will be ID. And if I want to write the JSON path, then it will be like ID only because it is an immediate child. So let me pass the ID and I can pass any value. So here you need to understand one more thing. If you are passing integer or numbers, then you need to pass in without double quotes. But for the string, you need to pass in double quotes or single quotes. Let me pass the another one, which will be name. And here I need to pass the value into double quotes or single quotes. And let me print the variable. So what it will do, it will create a JSON object and it will add two keys, ID and name. So let me run and show you the output. Okay, glad I see one error here and I'm happy that we encounter this problem. So let me show you what happening. It is saying that we have some syntax error, unnamed missing close code. So if you see the value here, I am passing Amos L line. So we have already one single code within this value. So if you have any value which contains single quotes already, then we need to use double quotes. Let me read on this scenario. So now you can see it is printing the JSON object properly. Now if you want to create some nested JSON object, maybe if you want to add a new key called address and inside this address, it will hold a JSON object and first value I can put a street and another city. So this will be called nested JSON object. So to create this nested JSON object, we need to pass the correct JSON path. Let me duplicate this scenario and I will change the description from simple to nested. We understand that we need to pass the JSON path. If I want to create the JSON object like this, then what JSON path I need to pass, it will be address dot straight. Let me pass that and pass the value accordingly. Same way I need to pass the city. If you want to format this table, then you can use code deformat code. So automatically it will align properly. Let me run this scenario. So here we can see it is printing the nested JSON object. In the similar way, you can create any deeply nested JSON object. Just for an example, suppose if you want to put a new key inside address like primary, and then you want to pass these address. So what JSON path I need to pass this time. I need to pass address dot primary dot straight. Let me correct it and rerun the scenario. So here you can see again we created some deeply nested JSON object. Let's try some JSON arrays. I can have multiple addresses. So I want to store primary and I want to store secondary addresses. So instead of JSON object, it will be JSON array and this primary will go inside a JSON object. And I similarly, I can add a secondary address. So the basic concept is again same. I need to pass the correct JSON path. If I want to create the object like this, then I need to use address of zero dot primary dot straight. For secondary, I need to use address of one dot secondary dot straight. Let me show you. I will duplicate this scenario and update the scenario description. Since address is JSON array, so instead of dot, I need to use address of zero, then dot primary dot straight. Similarly, here also I need to use the index. Let me duplicate these lines. And here I need to use one, one, and the key will be secondary. Let me rerun this scenario. So here you can see that how it has created the JSON object with JSON arrays. Now let me show you how can we use variables to set the values in the JSON payload. I will copy the first scenario paste below and I will update the description. Create simple JSON object with variables. I can create the variables, right? We need to use the def keyword and I can have like ID value. I can pass 12. Then I will create another variable, maybe name value and I can pass same thing. I want to use these variables in my JSON value. So that is very simple. Just need to pass this variable name instead of value. Let me run this scenario and you can see that it will read the value from variable. So here you can see it is reading the value. So till now we were creating JSON objects. Now let's create JSON arrays. I will just remove the extra fields. 
what i want i want to have one json array and inside this i will have multiple json objects so if you want to create json arrays like this the karate provides a very good way to create it in simple way let me duplicate the first scenario and i will update the scenario description so to create the json object we pass two columns path and value but to create json array and instead of value i need to pass the index values like 0 and 1 why 2 because i want to have two json objects inside json array if you want to have n then you need to pass the n indexes i can pass another set of values now i will run this scenario and show you how it has created the json array so here you can see that how well it has created the json array let me show you some different scenarios suppose for the first one you want the id value but for the second index or second json object i don't want id value to be present then you can simply omit the value if you don't pass the value then it will exclude that field it will be applicable for the json objects as well so here you can see for the first json object we have id and name but for the second one we don't have sometime we may need to pass the null values explicitly so for that you need to pass the null value in bracket need to be rerun this scenario so this time id field will not be removed but it will have the value as null we can use this approach for existing json objects or if you read the json from a file let me show you by example suppose i have already one json object so here we have already one key called name i want to append new fields to this existing json then you need to use the same variable name whatever we have used to store the existing json here with the set keyword and we can pass the path and value so what it will do it will add all the new keys and if it finds that we have already one existing key then it will replace the value for it and to print i need to use the existing json object let me run this scenario so here you can see that it has changed the value of name from amos to amos airline and we have the new field id we can pass the json path with the set keyword also means I will duplicate this scenario. Let me update the description. Here I want to add a new key itself, which will hold a nested JSON object. Then I can pass the JSON path here itself. Maybe existing JSON object dot details. What it will do? It will add a new key called details, and it will add the these values in that details object. Let me run this scenario and show you the output. So here you can see that it has added the key and it has values. So we can pass the JSON path with the set keyword itself. Similar way, I can read the JSON from a file and I can manipulate using the set keyword. Let me show you. I will duplicate this scenario and I will copy the code to read the JSON file from my previous video. I will go to create airline.feature and in the last video, I have already shown you how can we read the data from a JSON file. Let me copy this line and I will change the variable name. So I will read the file from here. I have the JSON payload here. Let me show you that. So I will read this JSON and then I will appending new key with the nested JSON object. Let me run this scenario. So here you can see it has appended the new key. So using the set multiple in Karate framework helps a lot to create the any level of nested JSON object or JSON array in simple way. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.